What's it called again? Paranormal Activity. And then Fame. I was going to talk about Fame. Yeah. And then, which, you know. Okay, well, here we go. <clears throat> New Mix 107.9 80s 90s now. Nickelback at 825. Scattered showers, clouds, 73 today. More rain, 73 tomorrow. Sunshine comes out, 75 on Sunday. It's 61 now. It's Friday. A bunch of new movies opening in Columbus theaters this weekend. And the Mix Split Chick joins us this morning. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Mark. So what are we going to talk about this morning? Oh, gosh. Okay. There are a lot of new ones, but two that I saw this week. Okay. Fame. Yes, the remake. And, yes. Uh, well, it was a movie in 1980, and it was a TV show. Yes, so, it was. Okay. And Debbie Allen is in all of them. Oh, yeah, She's that's right. back in this one as okay. the principal. Now, oh, okay. she's kind of, you know, risen through the ranks. Right. Here's my bottom line on this guy. Okay. I loved it. Oh, yeah. You know what? And I think in this day and age of American Idol and all this kind of stuff, it's PG, and anyone can go see this. Is it, you know, kind of like the, uh, I don't want to compare it to High School Musical, but was it Glee Club is out on TV? I mean, right. it's, there's just kind of a thing for this, these performing arts students and yes. young people. Uh, oh, gosh, you walk out and you just want to sing and dance, or you wish that you could. The <laughs> you music wanna, you is wanna awesome. You want to jump on the hood of a cab and, yeah. Oh, I mean, yes. <laughs> do a herky. You, you do, and the, the finale don't is go. really great. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't try that at home. Okay. And so the finale is really great? Yes, and the, the, the kids, the, you know, it's, it's a performing arts high school in New York. Can I get that out? It's a little <laughs> early here. Um, and so it follows them through their four years. And these kids, they're, they're singers, they're dancers, they're actors and musicians. Okay. Okay. And, and you know what? It's not gritty. What, why I was bringing up about the PGs because it's pro some people will say it's probably not a, an accurate portrayal of high school because there's no bad language. There's no right, sex, right. drugs, right. you know, whatever, but it's just refreshing. And it really is. It's not, it's not cheesy or cliched. It's just, you feel good. And the, I went home and I bought the stuff off iTunes, wow. the soundtrack. It is really, I'm listening to you know, my car this morning on the way here. I had no desire to see this. Now you, you just made me want to see it. Yes. Okay. All I right. Love that. Okay. So fame opens and uh, definite thumbs up. Go check and that out. And two young kids in it are standouts. This Asher book, who is a young guy uh -huh. in a boy band and this other girl, Natori Naughton. I mean, her voice is crazy. Great. Oh, okay. I loved it. Okay, so then uh, Columbus played host to a very special movie premiere last night, and Kelly's going to talk about that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's just say I'm, I'm babbling this morning because I couldn't sleep. Oh. This thing creeped me out. It's called Paranormal Activity. Okay. Okay? It is a low-budget, super low-budget yeah, thing. Like $11,000. Crazy. And this guy filmed it with a handheld camera, friends from San Diego, two unknown actors, and it found its way... They were trying to find a distributor, all this stuff. It found its way to DreamWorks and Steven Spielberg. Wow. Not a bad guy to find. Yeah. He said, you know what? This is something. Okay. And they thought about remaking it and making it big budget. Right. But the smart people behind it said, can we just show a test screening of this and see? And audiences freaked out. Yeah, didn't they have a deal where the, the, the trailer for this thing not only shows clips from the movie, it shows audience reactions. Oh, and yeah. people are, this, they're frightened. Let's, Oh, okay. And it's not nonstop. It's an hour and a half long. Huh. It's paranormal. It's about, a, it's a supernatural thriller about it. Basically, it's all in one house. It's about this young couple, and they are hearing things that go bump in the night. Right. And so the, the guy sets up a night vision camera to kind of record what's going on. Okay. And most of the movie is just this sense of dread. You know something's coming. You know, it's not like Boom Boom, two, uh, an hour and a half is scary. I got to say, the last half hour, ha! Huh! <laughs> and the audience, there is one scene where... The, the, the place that blows the roof off the place oh, because of man. the loud reaction of the audience. Paranormal activity. And so they, they did the, uh, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I was just going to say, so it's at Studio 35 in Clintonville, yeah. only for two weekends. Okay. Midnight showings, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> I mean, look at me. You can tell by my face I'm like freaked out. It is really creepy and it's not gory. Okay, some people are like, I don't want blood and gut. It's not, it's just super, it's supernatural. <laughs> creepy, you're laughing at me. 
Yeah, I know. I can just see you coming back into your house afterwards at midnight, turning all the lights off. Oh, honey, on. I was. I was like, oh, and they showed it at 10. I didn't get home till after midnight. I'm like, are you kidding me? I jumped in bed. You know how you don't want your feet to be yeah. by the bottom of the bed? And so it's two weekends, this weekend and next weekend, and then they're going to wait and try to build internet buzz, like kind of like Blair Witch Project uh -huh. 10 years ago. Right. And then they're going to release it longer. So I think you're going to hear about this. I don't know if it's going to be as huge as something like that, Blair Witch, but I'm saying it's something. You know, it shows you can do what you can do for less. $11,000. More for I less, mean, you know, you story. Know, Pirates of the Caribbean cost uh, $100 million. And Transformers blowing things up. This, you are, I mean, you're in this audience this with all these people last night, and you're all waiting, you know, because you so see cool. something on a Ouija board and something, mm. a door moving and stuff. That's more scary right, than a guy the with a chainsaw. Yeah, yes, absolutely. And this girl, what, this girl, oh my, Mark. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, thank you very much. That's, uh, the, the, so you can go check that out at Studio 35 for yourself. Yes, All right. yes. Paranormal Activity. Oh. Mixed Chick Movie Reviews or Podcast <laughs> online at MyMix1079.com. We send her to all the hot new movies first, so yeah. you can see what you want to see when they open uh, this weekend. Thanks, Calais. You're welcome. Right here, right now at 831, Mix 1079, 80s, 90s now. Freaked out! Um, Freaked out! <laughs> Go see that movie! No! <laughs> if you want to be scared! No! <laughs> the last scene. Hey, you wanna check this out? Scary. There's some stuff in there that, like.